guys, so I think I've done a video like this before, but today I thought I would show you my updated True Blood collection and the Sucky Stackhouse novels collection, of course. Now, True Blood is one of my all-time favourite television series and the Sucky Stackhouse novels are some of my all-time favourite books. And I know I've shown a video, like I said, on my True Blood collection before, but I don't think I've shown everything in there, so autographs as well. So this video will be my complete collection of True Blood items so far. So let's get started. So the first things I have you've seen before a lot if you've watched my previous autograph videos, but these are my True Blood trading cards. So that's the full set, and then after that, all the rest of the True Blood cards are from both sets. So we have a lot of autographs here. My favourite one is, of course, Dennis O'Hare, who I love. Then we have a couple more autographs up there on the top. We have two promo cards down at the bottom there. Oh, the binder's a little bit broken, the trading card wallet. Another promo card, I believe, and a quote card. And then you have these clear cards as well. And, of course, I don't know if I've shown this yet, but my um, piece of Sucky Stackhouse's t-shirt, a piece of her uniform. Before we get to physical True Blood items, we might as well do my True Blood autographs. Again, I have done a video on these before, but they, there are some more autographs in here that I don't think you've seen. So we have Deborah Ann Wall, who plays Jessica Hamby. And again, we have Michael McMillan, who plays Steve Newland. We have, oh, I hope I say this right, Mariana Clavino who plays Lorena Krizicki, Ryan Quanton, who plays Jason Stackhouse, two uh, Sam Tramiels, who plays Sam Merlot, then we have um, Chris Bauer, who plays Andy Belfler, Adina Porter, who plays Letty Mae Thornton, we have two Carolina Widras, who played Violet Mazursky, we have Noah Matthews, who played Wade Cleary, Camilla Ludington, who played Claudette, Tanya Wright, who played Kenya Jones, Brett Rickaby, who played Vince. Uh, Jim Parrick, who played Hoyt Fortenbury. Todd Lowe, who played Terry Belfler. Kristen Bauer von Stratton, who played Pam Swim Pamela Swimford de Beaufort. We have Michelle Forbes, who played Marianne Forrester. Next up, we have Gray Damon, who played Kitch Maynard. Alexandra Breckenridge, this is an American Horror Story photo, who played Katerina Pelham. She was also in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. My favourite True Blood autograph, which is Anna Paquin and Stephen Moyer, dual signed, who of course played Sucky Stackhouse and Bill Compton. We have my Charlene Harris book plate, who is the writer and creator of the Sucky Stackhouse novels. We have Retina Wesley, who played Tara Thornton. And a Retina Wesley and Anna Paquin, dual signed. In my EastEnders folder, I have a signature of Robert Kaczynski, who in True Blood played Warlow slash Ben. And I believe that's it for autographs, so we might as well start with the Sucky Stackhouse books first. So I have all of them. So we have Dead Until Dark, Living Dead in Dallas, Club Dead, Dead to the World, another Dead to the World with a different cover. I don't know why I have two. Dead as a Doornail. Definitely dead. Altogether dead. From dead to worse. Dead and gone, which is a completely different cover. Dead in the family. Dead reckoning, but I've lost the dust cover. <laughs> um, deadlocked. And dead ever after. So that is all of the Sucky Stackhouse novels. Then you have the companion books which is A Touch of Dead which I have in hardback and soft cover and these are like short stories. Then I have the vampire film from Nosferatu to True Blood book. Uh, the reason this is in the True Blood collection is obviously because it's got True Blood on the cover but it does talk about lots and lots of other vampires. It's an amazing book. And I do have a few more vampire books that feature True Blood in them but I just haven't put them with the collection. Then we have Steve Newland's Feed Field Guide to Vampires which you won't understand unless you've watched the series but this book is hilarious. I love it. And the magazines are the SFX Special True Blood Edition. So on the left you have the True Blood Edition and these two came as a pack together 
and on the right you have the vampires edition. So that's all the bookish type things we have, so on to other things. So here are my True Blood DVDs. There are seven seasons of True Blood and I unfortunately do not have all the seasons but I am slowly trying to buy them. So we have the complete first season here. We have the complete first and second season. So I have the first season on its own, the first and second here, the complete second, uh, third season, the third season again. <laughs> and the fourth season. So that's all I have at the minute. So I really need to buy five, six and seven and maybe a big box set as well because you know what I'm like with my collections. Next we might as well do the True Blood Funko Pops. So as you can see at the back there are six True Blood Funko Pops but there's actually a triple or double pack if I remember correctly with Sucky, Eric and Bill. So there's technically seven. I only have three out of the seven. So we have Eric Northman, Pam, which was my first ever Funko Pop, and Lafayette, who I love. So I have my True Blood shoes, which I don't wear. They're not official, they were bought on eBay, and they are not made that great. So they've used um, the comics, the True Blood comics, to make the shoes, and I don't actually own any of the True Blood comics, but they are peeling, and I think if I wore them out, they would, they would break. But that's my True Blood shoes, and they do look quite cute on the shelf. Then we have my Sanguinista necklace, which is the only piece of True Blood jewellery that I own. You won't know what this represents unless you've watched True Blood, and I can't tell you, because it's kind of spoilery, but yes, that's my Sanguinista necklace. Not a real prop, just a 99p one off eBay, I think. Next up we have my Merlot's t-shirt which is the uh, bar in True Blood. Again, I don't think this is official. I think it's just one off eBay. And I also bought a apron, to, a green apron to wear. And if you saw my cosplay, I think I wore this in February this year. I actually went as Jessica from True Blood in this outfit and I have brought my picture out to show you. I don't know what my face is doing in this picture, but this is my... True Blood photo of me as Jessica. I do still have that downstairs, which probably needs tipping down the sink because it's just blood, uh, fake blood and water, so that'll probably go off. And I was also wearing another fake blood and water True Blood necklace, which I do have downstairs, which I made myself. But again, I'll probably have to tip them down the sink because they may go off. Next up, I have my official True Blood bag. I think I bought this on eBay, you see, but I think you got this bag when you purchased a real bottle of True Blood. These True Blood bottles. I think it's orange, like an orange drink inside, but of course it's supposed to be blood. These are very, very rare to get your hands on now. So I'm still on the lookout for a sealed True Blood drink. And the last thing I own, True Blood wise, is this rollout fabric poster. There we go. I've used my Funko Pops and a DVD to uh, prop this open. I will eventually get this framed and put on the wall, but uh, at the minute it's just like this. Again, just from eBay, but I love it. It's such a nice poster. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.